Hi, this is GT. Thanks for joining us for another edition of Local Jive. Basically, we sit down and we're able to talk to bands and find out a little bit more about them. It's a special interview today because we were able to talk to a band that is from Brazil. Their name is Bella Utopia. Kind of a metal band, harder band. I was able to talk to Isabella Eva. She is their singer. And Gustavo Vasquez. He's their producer. Talk to him about a their band and get to know about them and introduce you folks to them. Now if you can't tell us about your band, I know it's kind of a generic question to ask, but if nobody is familiar with you, how would you introduce Bella Utopia? Well, basically we are a half metal band, not a traditional one from Brazil. And of course there's a lot of elements and influences like modern bands and a few stuffs that came not specifically from metal but and stuffs like that but let's put it this way we are a mix of bunch all right well let me ask you this what motivates or inspires you as a band or as songwriters I think the way the world turns so fast every day and how people fit into this constant movement. In Brazil, we still have many social problems and it's always good to remember that we can still try to change what is not good. Uh, in my lyrics, I seek this latent reality. So, basically, human behavior inspires me a lot. So how did your band start? Basically, we started doing cover of Guns N' Roses. Yeah. At the time, I had recorded a solo CD, but never made me feel satisfied. It was a pop rock album without heavy guitars. And when I met some guys um, here, I realized that we had musical interests in common. And in some way, it helped in our compositions and also to start the band. And I think that Melodopia is in constant musical evolution. That's what I believe. I know it's another generic question, but what are your musical influences as a band? Well, you know, music is not a simple question when it's about what kind of music you are listening to. But everyone in the band likes a different style of bands. And it includes fresh and modern stuff too. But basically, we love the classical rock, heavy metal from apes, the Bay Area sounds. So, I would say that we listen a lot of same things from classical rock to new metal. And that's all this kind of influence, I guess. In America, major labels don't really nurture artists the way they used to. It's all about what's hot, what's marketable. And what I want to know is where you're from, where do you live? Are the major labels, are they the same pretty much down there? Or is there anything different about the music industry where you are at? Or just what is the state of the music industry where you're at? I think the profile of the major labels does not change much here. There is an addictive market more focused on the what word music. So the bands end up trying to fit in one market and many leave what really inspires them, but it's always time to change students and fight for what really motivates and inspires. 
And well, here in Brazil, the major labels are in Rio de Janeiro, São Paulo, but there is such a strong alternative movement here in our city, and several events and festivals take place here. Goiânia has come to be called the New Brazilian Seattle because of its huge amount of bands. So, this is good for us. You know, it's really interesting because you're poised to step on the world stage. What would you like to achieve? A market that cares, please, in a specific audience who likes to rock, and that will always uh, be true to that style. And also, uh, make people sing in our language, and maybe learn a little bit of Portuguese. Who knows? Okay, we're in Rockford, Illinois, and you're down in Brazil. Is there another artist that you think we should be listening to? Is there somebody that you've done shows with, or another artist that you actually want to give props to and give a shout out to? Yes, Cryptex from Germany, which invited us to do a tour with them around South America. They play a more style for the progressive, and I think good association. Lead singer Simon uh, has exchanged ideas with me and invited me. I hope that soon we can put this tour on the road and if it would be along with them, it would be fucking great. Okay, how active are you playing out? How many shows a year are you doing? Are you playing out a lot? Do you play with the same bands? Do you headline a lot of the time? Well, we stop at the shows to record the album Dilemma do Prisoner, and we are working in an event that we produce, the High Fight Rock. The event mixes the band's concert with MMA, MMA fights. It ended up taking a little box of our shows. But now, with the CD, we are gonna start because, in the end, play and be is what every artist likes to do. Uh, in the first editions of High Fight Rock uh, was only our show, just Bella Utopia. But now I want to invite uh, other bands to this event. It's gonna be great for us. Well, what is your favorite song that you've written? I think I don't have a favorite song. But I guess the main she is one of them. She's the number five. What are you listening to now? What's in your CD player? Well, Bell of the Beer first. <laughs> but Sleep Not. There is a band in this moment that I like so much Maria and her voice. Uh, Arc Enemy and always Metallica and Nether Roses. Always. All right, tell us, tell us about your newest album. Uh, what you'd like to promote and what you want us all to to know about. This is the first album with this expressive and heavy new lineup. We are looking out for people who want to listen something like the things that we wrote and create on this album. You know, it means a lot of, to us crossing lines through cultures and boundaries and we heard for different kinds of people uh, and in different places. This is what we want. I think the album is a great step ahead for that. Okay, this is the last question for you. In America, we have what's known as Bigfoot. Is there anything down there like that? Unfortunately, no. Bigfoot is the only that can disseminate the bands and the genre of heavy metal from Brazil to all the world. Thanks, man. I hope soon we can go live on your studio. See ya. Good luck, and this is this is for you, okay? Well, hello. I'm I'm Gustavo Vasquez. I'm the producer of the album, and 
there's something different about this band. Uh, it's different because the, the difference is because we have a girl singer and singing in Portuguese. It's not usual in Brazil. I think we don't have that kind of style, that kind of heavy sound in Brazil. So it's totally different. And there's a kind of mixing between heavy metal and MMA fights. There's something about it in, this lyric, in, the, in, in those lyrics. So that, this is the spice we have in this album, in, in special, I think. All right, well, thank you very much. I'm going to thank Bella Utopia. Go ahead and search them out on the web. And um, I'm sure they'll put the graphic for them underneath here somewhere. Uh, we'll also want to thank, uh, well, this is 815localjive.com. They're going to be putting that graphic up as well. Check that out. Go to all social media. Link it up. Pay attention. List your shows. Promote it. Thank you very much. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed it. I did. Thank you. See you next time. Sem noção, demente Demente